Hello friends, spring finally arrived and so I'm transplanting. I can't possibly make a video about each and every transplanting, that'll be kind of boring. But uh, sometimes after I take the plant out of pot, I feel like Ouch! I had a chance. This is getting so interesting. I had a chance to record what I'm doing. But it's too late. One never knows what surprise is going to be inside once I put the plant out of the pot. Is there going to be some kind of wonderful surprise? By the way, you might be wondering what is this blue glove doing here? Well, the regular gardening gloves made of leather or thick fabric or combination um, don't give me enough feeling for my work. And the latex glove, gloves that are kind of uh, off-white, they break right away. These gloves are similarly priced they're made for nurses and they're thicker on the fingertips and so that's the kind i like to buy at amazon.com couple of hundred in a box at a time makes balloon for them when grandchildren come and when children when grandchildren are not here and those are my gardening gloves Anyway, back to transplanting. Some years back, I purchased a bunch of seeds of double red. Adenium obesum. And as you can see, not all of them end up to be double. And the double, not all end up to be red. Well, I kept some really nice single red, one of which reminded me uh, photos on the internet of a named cultivar called Miss Thailand. Well, Miss Thailand, my Miss Thailand, finally broke the pot, so I was transplanting it the other day, and the root looked kind of like a Miss Kardashian more than Miss Thailand. So I lifted it like this, but unfortunately I don't have the whole process of transplanting uh, on a video. I just want to show you my Miss Thailand. I pruned the twigs off. Once it's gonna bloom it's gonna have the the flowers of a named cultivar Miss Thailand. Okay, let me show you a different surprise I got recently while transplanting a denium. In Somalia, in African country called Somalia, there grows a tree-like form of desert rose, of adenium. The botanical name of it is adenium somalense. If you cross adenium somalense with more common cultivar household or garden cultivar called adenium obesum it'll get wider leaves than this but still very tree-like growth let me show you here it is you see very upward growth but relatively recently, few years back, 
there was discovered another variety that has a provisional botanical name Adenium somalense nova. Nova implies that it's new type of Adenium somalense. Uh, it is a short plant with not much of a swollen trunk just like regular Adenium somalense but it actually ooh, hello big caterpillar this is a caterpillar that has a huge green butterfly the butterfly pollinates adeniums but doesn't do to me very good job um, the butterfly is actually a moth it's a night butterfly and it's called oleander hawk moth okay sorry to disturb your meal keep eating some button some bonsaiists defoliate their trees well I have a helper it starts as a little green caterpillar then it's brown big then it's black then it climbs down 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 buries itself in the soil medium for about 10 days it it turns into cocoon and stays there about 10 days and then it comes early morning out like a big triangular green moth and doesn't want to fly for about a, an hour it's drying its wings anyway where was I um, oh I was talking about the Somalense Nova Adenium Somalense Nova that when people dig it out and plant it higher it has a trunk, the trunk that was below the ground. Let me show you. If you type in internet search engine Adenium somalense nova and press enter, you will see these plants that have a narrow leaves. Ava somalense, but they have a short growth with a trunk that actually in nature was under the ground here you have another example here you have another example here you have another two examples well the other day I was transplanting not somalensenova and under the ground was trunk hiding. Let me show you. Here it is. It was sticking from the ground only like this. My hybrid, where I crossed the broccoli, adenium broccoli with adenium double red obesum. I got single red with big white only I'm talking about specifically diffs of spring I have other ones growing different way anyway this one finally cracked the pot and I was transplanting and looky look it had sort of a trunk under the ground just like Adenium somalense nova let me turn it on around and you can see interesting right well unfortunately I don't have a photo how it looked like this but I have some non transplanted that look sort of like this on top I just don't know if they look like this on the bottom because I have so much to transplant this spring I didn't get around to it yet okay 
And a third curiosity, and that'll be a last one. I don't want to make too long video. The third charm, let me show you. Just walking around, morning. Checking everything. Did the cats overturn some pot? Did something needed to be watered or whatnot? And um, there was one plant that looked like this. You see, this is how it looks when. Uh, um, it's uh, when it's this so-called broccoli and I prune it repeatedly look like that but it needed repruning because um, you see how some twigs are not growing well there were plenty not growing and few growing I didn't know why I, I was pruning the the twigs that were about well a few inches long and suddenly crack the pot that had a little hair fracture fell apart this is the bottom of it it, it was here this is the the bottom and uh, here were the big pieces these and so suddenly I realized that the reason the plants, the, the twigs were not growing well, some were, some were not, is because due to crack there were big parts of a pot with completely, completely dry roots, completely, completely dry growing medium. So I had to transplant. So I took the pot out so, so I took the plant out of the growing medium, I shake the growing medium away and I cut the thick roots, they would have to dry. I put the... the these these um, twigs were very much fighting each other, so I had to thin them a lot. And uh, I cut the thick roots, they have to dry, I put the cinnamon powder on them and uh, the middle has nothing because uh, some years back two and a half years ago I put the upside down little concrete pot there and so doesn't it look interesting? bonsai ready for another stage of its development okay that's all I was going to show you my sort of Miss Thailand my sort of Adenium somalense nova and my sumo Bonsai that cracked big pot. Tadam, tadam. Oh, and advice what kind of gardening gloves I like that are actually not made for gardening. Goodbye, friends. That's all for today. Happy spring.